All right, guys, here we are with a brand new segment. Uh, this could be the first time and the last time. <laughs> Basically, Fab's come up with an idea. Might be good, might be shit. Yeah, but we had no other ideas, so let's just roll with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing two podcasts a week is a lot when there's no race on. So, Jake, what I've done is I've found out some interesting facts about certain drivers. Some you might know. Most of them you probably won't know. But I'm going to give you some of these facts, and you're going to tell me which driver it is. Okay. Well, I, I knew you'd found out the facts because you wouldn't have known them for shit. So you basically you got on Google, got a load of notes. Nope, I know, no, I know all of this. <laughs> all right, okay. Because I'm just so passionate about the sport. So you're going to give me a load of clues and i got to guess who it is. Yes, sir. Like Blue's Clues. Yes, sir. All right. Like the bloody Pink Panther. Right. <laughs> what is Pink Panther? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a, it's a, it was a panther that was pink. Um, first person. They have a dual nationality. Yeah. Their mother is Thai and their father is English. He nearly didn't make it into the F1. After he left Formula 2, he signed to actually race for Nissan in Formula E. Uh, but at the last minute, a chance presented itself at Toro Rosso. He's a Red Bull reserve driver and he's 26 years old. Alex Albon. ka -ching! Correct? Correct. Let's go. Correct. <laughs> that was nice. I don't know how I got that. I got that from um, Red Bull Reserve and Toro Rosso. Nice. That was the only way I knew that, really. Cool. But this is good because the people listening are going to learn some things that they don't know. Exactly. This is where you come to learn. Come and learn with us. All of us. a sudden. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has actually learned anything from this podcast. Nah. <laughs> nah, probably not. But thanks for being here anyway. <laughs> That's one out of one. That's one out of one. That's not bad. How That's, many are there? Uh, there's about six or seven. Oh, it's going to be good. It's gonna Play be along good. at home. See how early you can get it from the clues. It's probably going to take me right until the very, very end. But Are we scoring? I don't know. I didn't really think about us scoring this. We don't need to score or... it. But if I get them all right, we'll definitely score it. Okay, copy that. One out of one at the moment. Cool. Number two. <clears throat> uh -huh. He didn't go to secondary school. He actually dropped out. He didn't even go to secondary school. Wow. Like, forget college. He didn't even go to secondary school. So what? He went to like primary school and then just said nah. So he was homeschooled or did he school on the road or something? You like can't that? ask me questions. Look, I'm just providing you with <laughs> facts. You can't ask me to elaborate. Because <laughs> you don't know. I didn't Google that far. <laughs> uh, his dream actually was to become a singer. Uh, and Michael Jackson... Jackson. Harsh. <laughs> Michael Jackson was his main inspiration. Uh, he was accepted onto the Red Bull Junior team at age 11. Ooh. And his lifetime dream in the F1 was to drive for Ferrari. Oh, I've got his nationality here, but I'm not going to give it to you because I feel like that's a bit obvious. All right, I'll take a guess, but I think I'm going to need the nationality after. Mm. So, but is he on the grid now? Can confirm. He's so basically, I'm looking for the one driver on the grid that I feel like would have most likely wanted to be a singer when they were younger. Mm. All right, okay, so I doubt it's Bottas. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it doesn't fit with Bottas, so Bottas is a no go. Um, a bit of me feels like it could have been Lando. Okay. Because I feel like he got into everything really young. I'm not saying it is Lando. I'm not doing what you do where you throw an answer out there. Look at them. See if well, they you are, because you just threw it out and you just looked at me straight No, away. okay. But my actual guess is going to be Daniel Ricardo. I actually. That is a good guess, but it's not. Oh, <laughs> How's it a good guess then? There's only one person. Because if I was to probably think without knowing, I probably would have said Ricardo. He's as got well. like the personality, right? So you can yeah. feel it. It'd want to be like an entertainer. Who is it? The it is actually Sebastian Vettel. Oh, yeah. no way! Imagine Vettel was a singer. What type of music do you think he'd make? Um, sort of German techno house, <laughs> maybe some experimental underground shit. Not really That's sure. a challenge out there for Vettel. Release a song. Yeah, make a DJ set. Okay, third person. Uh, so his dad actually put him in a go-kart at age four. Um, he wears his seatbelt loose in the car. Like most drivers are strapped in tight. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he wears his loose so he can feel more free in the car. Um, so it's most likely to be one of the taller ones. Uh, before a race, he'll probably just sit there and play like Call of Duty or FIFA. Like he's not looking through like all the data from qualifying. He's chill. He's just fucking, he's just, what? He's just playing games. Surely not. Yeah, Someone yeah. is not just sat in that garage playing COD when everyone else is looking at the breaking points. Oh yeah. Unless you're the best. And his dad's nose started to bleed on his final laps of his first win. Surely you have to be the best if you're sat there playing COD when everyone else is learning the angles. Like that's got to be one of the big dogs, hasn't it? He says, throwing a question out and looking at me in the eye. <laughs> Staring him directly in the eyes. 
I don't know, mate. None of the things you've actually told me are things I would have ever known. Well, maybe so. you were onto something. Really? I don't know. All right, Lewis Hamilton. Nah, it's Max Verstappen. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, obviously, Max Verstappen just plays FIFA and COD. He's the best. You don't need to learn anything now. There you go. He's the king. Actually, no, he does. He has got a lot to learn because he is still a really young driver. But I think Max is going to get so much better. Yeah? Mm, definitely. Watch this it. space. What makes me think that is, you know, when we watched Fernando Alonso the other day and I said he's so slick. Yep. You can see. Like, you can see that someone has been doing it for years and years, and they are, they are a world champion, without a doubt. And Fernando Alonso gives me that vibe. Yeah, because he makes moves with, like, minimal mistakes. Definitely. I think Max has still got that little bit of, like, I'm going to try that. He'll get to the point in his career where he'll know what he can and definitely can't. But I'd I'm, say he's definitely probably more so there now than he was, like, a couple years yeah. ago. I think when he was, like, it was, like, 2019, 2020, he was, like... A bit correct, a bit nutty. A bit he courageous. definitely pushes for them gaps like no other day. Yeah, he'll get. He'll definitely lose points this season from jumping into gaps that he shouldn't be in. But yeah. that's why I love watching it. He's ex- he's an exciting driver to watch. Love him or hate him, like he does. He gives us entertainment for the sport. Absolutely. Next person. Uh, We're not scoring it by the way because I got the last two wrong. <laughs> He wanted to be number seven, but it was taken by Kimi Räikkönen. David Beckham. He also wanted to be number ten, but it was taken by Pierre Gasly. Oh, so he liked Kimi Räikkönen and he liked Pierre Gasly. Well, he just wanted the num. He wanted the, the numbers. Oh, okay, but yeah, yeah. But they already yeah. had them. Yeah. Uh, his best friend on the grid is Pierre Gasly. Yeah. And they've known each other since they're about five or six. Yeah. So young. Esteban Ocon. You guessing already? Yeah. Nah, it's not Ocon. What? They're both friends. Surely it would be Ocon. I'm gonna keep going, and you okay. can have another all guess. Right, all right. Uh, unlike most F1 drivers, he comes from a humble background, and he didn't have a particularly rich family. And he was born in Monte Carlo, Monaco, in 1997. <laughs> There's like only one driver in the grid born in Monaco. <laughs> that I think I know who it is. Oh yeah, second guess then. Charles Leclerc. Yeah. <laughs> well, done. Hey! well done, you got that one. But when you said seven or ten, I really thought they might be English because they were like famous numbers for English footballers. No, like seven jumped, was jumped, Beckham. Jumped the gun there. So I really thought that was going to be what it was going to be. This one... Again, could be a hard one to get, but if you listen closely to the Scooby snacks I'm going to leave around, then maybe you might pick right. up the scent. I'm listening for a Scooby. All right. He's a keen golfer, and he began playing when he moved across the world to England I've at age 17. I've seen a few players playing golf. You have. His handicap is 18, by the way. That's pretty... I don't, I don't is know. Is that good that, or bad? I haven't got a clue what that means. I haven't means. got a clue what that means. I think that means you hit it like... <laughs> If you're meant to do a course in like a certain amount of holes, I think that means you did it 18 shots more than you were meant to. Right. I think. Yawn. Anyway, <laughs> he set up a charity in his hometown to help strengthen vulnerable groups and children. Okay. <clears throat> if he wasn't an F1 driver, he'd like to be a banker or a lawyer, as he describes the Russian adre- adrenaline that you would get from that job, similar to racing. What? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. A lawyer? This, this, guy, must be, this guy must be on crack. Fucking hell. Um, <clears throat> he says Madrid is his home away from home, and if he could choose anywhere to live, it would be there because the Spanish culture is very similar to where he came from. All right, okay, so we're going for someone. And, okay, no, yeah. I got, you want me to go for someone on the grid who is most likely to be a banker if they weren't a Formula One driver? Okay, well... <laughs> I don't I've, think it's I've, Max Verstappen. I've got, I've got his age. If you, if you, oh yeah, if you drop me an like age. Drop it. me an age. Really? Yeah. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, that is the one and only Mister Fernando Alonso. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go again. Go again. <laughs> think about the thirty-two. Think about Madrid. Um, think about Spain. Think about the culture. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to remember who's Spanish. Spice of life. He's um, not from Spain. Spice of life. But, I, uh, I haven't got it. Lando Norris. No. <laughs> um, Jesus. <laughs> um, that ha- can only be one man. Yeah. Yeah. Is he on the grid now? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh can yeah. Only you know be it. You know it. Man. He's got it on the tip Ladies of his tongue. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is Lance Stroll. <laughs> 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 Lance fucking Stroll, the Canadian. I've gone blank. I've gone blank. I can't think. Magnuson. Sergio Perez. Sergio Pe- Perez. He's Mexican. That was... Oh. Oh, you see what I'm saying? I completely make sense now. Mm. I, I should have got that. I've got two more for you. Give me one more because I'm not very good. Okay. 
Mm. And I, I don't know how the people are getting on at home, but which, I, which I reckon one, these are quite hard for everyone. Which one do I think you'd be better at? Or, wor- or worse one. at? <laughs> the easiest one? Yeah. Okay. So this guy doesn't come from a wealthy family. And actually, in the beginning, when he started F1, he didn't even have a manager. So, like, he had to handle everything himself. Like, he was in the fucking shark tank, handling everything himself. He enjoys gambling, um, especially high-stakes roulette. He has one race win. Wow. As I was just about to shout Lewis Hamilton before you said one race win because I just read earlier that Hamilton loves playing poker. I've got I've got two more clues for you and these will probably give it away. All right, he's Did got you, one race win. Do you think you're onto anything at the minute? Well, he's got one win. Like I know I only know one driver with one win. And okay. it's been a previous called out name and it okay. was wrong. All right. Well, why don't you write it down on your phone? Esteban Ocon. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Right, I'm gonna need the glue. He's man. 26. Okay. Okay. Um. And his he's a keen footballer. Oh, Latifi. And his favourite team is PSG. Latifi. No. Oh yeah, his family are millionaires. Absolutely million. Oh, Pierre Gasly. Yeah. Obviously, Pierre Gasly. Yeah. Those people playing along at home that actually listened to the clues there probably did better than me, but. That brings us to the end of Fab's great game. Well done, Fab. Thank you very much. 